Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside Hayden Perez and Coach Women's Tennis is underway. We talked to you a few weeks ago. I know it's for you, you in, in your opinion, it's been a little bit of a rough go, but you really put the heavy part of your schedule up early this season. Sure, yeah, I'd agree with that. We've had a, had a rough start uh, considering with wins and losses, but the kids are working hard. Um, you know, we came up against some tough SEC opponents and, and got outmatched. Um, had our chances in, in in one of them for sure, um, and just didn't convert. But uh, but early season, you, you kind of come up against that sometimes, and so I'm confident the kids are going to rebound and kind of get on track as as we move into another part of our schedule. Is that a mental play right now for the team because you built you front loaded the schedule mm -hmm. so heavy going in there? You know. The wins sure. and losses, they may be there, sure. they may not, but uh, you've got to challenge yourself if you're going to get better. Absolutely, and, and the entire year is going to be challenging, but especially facing three SEC opponents, you know, we knew ahead of time. We found out what we need to work on. Yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't get it done, like I said, but uh, I'm happy with it. I think the kids, you know, if they can face that competition and, and show their, their toughness, then when we get to the, the other part of the schedule, they should be ready for it. Are you able to identify right now the, the specific things that you want to improve on right now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we constantly go over the mental part of the game, and I think right now some of our kids are just starting to embrace you know, how that can help them. Um, just a few minutes ago, I was I was in my office going over videotape, you know, with one of the young ladies and, and kind of going over her match and, and talking, identifying some of those specifics for her. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to do that throughout the day. We'll, we'll call our kids in. We're going over some tape um, and try to prepare them best for the, for the next one. Uh, but it's really easy when you sit down one-on-one -on -one to identify those things. I think sometimes in the moment and on the court, it's a little tougher. Well, the opportunities to play at home are, are, are going to be few here this year and maybe next year with the uh, the Leftwich Center uh, being, being worked on and getting uh, put up. But you do have a, a home match coming up this weekend uh, yep. over at Eldon Work. So I know it'll be at least you don't have to travel outside. Right. We're excited. You know, to have two home matches this early in the season is, is great. We've been on the road already. And so now uh, a doubleheader at Eldon Work is going to be is going to be great. Um, we're bringing in two teams, uh, good friends of ours. You know, yeah. we, we enjoy competing against them. Uh, and we're just hoping the girls will have an opportunity to compete in, some, in front of some friends and family. So. You've got uh, Southeast Missouri and Lipscomb coming in, doubleheader on Sunday. What do you know early about these teams? I uh, don't know a lot. I, ha I haven't looked at them completely. I, th I think I saw one result from, from Lipscomb, uh, but they always present a challenge. They're, they're a tough team, you know, small private school there in Nashville, but mm -hmm. she does a good job. Uh, Jamie Aide, the, the coach there, does a good job with those kids. And so um, we're looking forward to it. It'll present a challenge. Um, we're going to try to get everybody in, in the lineup this weekend, so th that'll be exciting. Uh, we, we mentioned uh, Leftwich. How are things coming along on that? Yeah, so far so good. Mm -hmm. uh, we had, a, had some more good news uh, recently, and so you know, just the timeline, they're, they're trying to nail that down 100%, but I, I think uh, both Paul and I are, are very optimistic to, to where things are going, and you know, it's an exciting time. Um, when, they, when they actually do break ground, that'll, that'll be when see a bigger grin on my face, but, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, we know, we know it's coming, and we're getting there. So. It, it, it's funny, because I've been around uh, coaches before when they've had facility upgrades or new mm -hmm. facilities, and mm -hmm. so much of it has to do with before breaking ground. I know it can get frustration sure frustrating until you see that ground broken. Sure, yeah, it, it can be. But I think right now, you know, the group that's working on it and everybody, you know, surrounding the, the project, um, they're all very optimistic. Things are, things are moving along. You can't see it yet because that ground's not broken, but we're super excited. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. All right, no problem. That is Hayden Perez. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.